Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to Around the Clock. First off, a huge shout out goes out to all of my subscribers out there, as well as anyone tuning in and listening. Thank you all for all your support, guys. And with that, we're going to get right into the topic at hand. And as you all can see in the title of this video, Hideki Kamiya has teased a Bayonetta crossover with Mortal Kombat 11. Now, guys, Hideki Kamiya, the man behind Platinum Games, the studio which is responsible for many great games such as Bayonetta, Nier Automata, and the most recent, Astro Chain, which is exclusive to the Nintendo Switch, has posted on Twitter a short tease. And it says this, guys, and I quote, Mortal Kombat cross Bayonetta. Now, guys, it's short, it's simple, but it says a lot because we all know that Mortal Kombat 11 is coming out this April 23rd on the Nintendo Switch and other consoles. But with him teasing a Mortal Kombat Cross Bayonetta, what can this mean? Well, I believe that Bayonetta will be a DLC character in Mortal Kombat 11 for the Nintendo Switch exclusively. And I say this because, let's think about this guys, Mortal Kombat is coming back and it has been receiving great buzz around the internet and amongst the gaming community. And just think about this, Ed Boon did state that the DLC for Mortal Kombat are characters that you will not see coming. And what if Mortal Kombat 11 features DLC characters exclusive to each system itself? And for the Nintendo Switch, we will receive a Bayonetta DLC character. Now I know a lot of people say, well, that's a little too much. That's way too much Bayonetta. Bayonetta is already in Super Smash Brothers. I mean, it's too much Bayonetta. No, it's not enough Bayonetta because Bayonetta 3 is still scheduled to come out on the Nintendo Switch exclusively this upcoming year. Now, there has been no delays set for Bayonetta 3, so I think this will be a great opportunity for Platinum Games to shine the light on the Bayonetta character before Bayonetta 3's release. Now guys, let's think about this one thing, because 2B from Nier Automata is a Platinum Games owned character. We all know that Bayonetta is a Platinum Games owned character as well, and it was a great shock to see 2B from Nier Automata coming over as a DLC character for Soul Calibur 6. No one saw that coming. And knowing that Soul Calibur is a legendary fighting franchise, and Mortal Kombat is as well, Bayonetta will fit perfectly as a DLC character. And although Bayonetta is a cross venture between Sega and Nintendo, Bayonetta is the only character on Nintendo's roster whose games are bloody and brutal enough to represent Nintendo as an exclusive DLC character for the system. We all know that Bayonetta's moves in her own games are off the wall, bloody, I mean just all over the place. And that will make her a perfect fit in the Mortal Kombat game. Now, as far as the fatalities are concerned, I don't think Nintendo will really have a problem with this because, I mean, like I said earlier, in Bayonetta's own games, her moves are off the wall. I mean, her moves are over-sexualized and everything, guys. We all know this. So I don't think Nintendo will really have a problem with Bayonetta representing Nintendo as a DLC exclusive character for Mortal Kombat 11. And as I stated earlier, this will be a great way for Nintendo to create a lot of buzz for Bayonetta 3. Being that Bayonetta is already in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, we also can't forget about the Bayonetta crossover with Shin Megami Tensei, the mobile game, and also with this news of Bayonetta possibly becoming a playable character in Mortal Kombat 11. Now, there's no official news from Ed Boon at this moment, but hopefully we get some news from Ed Boon and NetherRealm Studios in the future. Now guys, one thing that I do want to point out is that late last year, we did get word from Todd McFarlane that Spawn will be in Mortal Kombat 11 as a DLC character. And until this date, which is February 20th, 2019 as I'm recording this video, we've still got no word from Ed Boon or NetherRealm Studios to confirm whether this is true or not. And it's very funny because in both cases with Bayonetta and Spawn, both creators of the characters gave hints that their beloved characters will be playable in Mortal Kombat 11. Alright guys, that's going to do it for this video. What are your thoughts on Hideki Kamiya teasing a crossover between Bayonetta and Mortal Kombat 11, making her a DLC character most likely for the game? Do you think this is true, or do you think that Hideki Kamiya is just trolling us? Please let me know in the comment section below. As well as, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you're not already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button, as well as the notification bell, so that you don't miss out on new, daily Nintendo news content here at Around the Clock, where here we focus on Nintendo gaming news around the clock. Catch you guys in the next one.